everybody it's saturday welcome back um, as you can see i have a special guest today so we're gonna dive right in so glad you're here let's get ready hey it's saturday that means we're gonna spend some time with god welcome to saturdays with god with your girl ashley renee don't forget like share and subscribe let's get started all right so you've seen my special guest before um previously we were on here with both our daughters our babies but today we're baby free <laughs> so we decided hey let's uh let's catch, catch it real quick let's catch up so this is my beautiful friend bianca she made it back yay and so we're just gonna give a have a little quick conversation about what we've been talking about the last saturday we talked about minding your business and talking about how the things that god has put in your hands to do those are the things that you should do instead of worrying about things that that's not what he told you to do or worrying about the how the when the why mm -hmm how it's going to happen, who's going to pay for it. I don't have the money for this, Lord. <laughs> but if you say so. Yes, trust it if you say so. If you say so, then we rolling with it. So um, for those who've never met you, you, you should really go back and, and watch the video. But just in case they haven't, tell them a little bit about yourself. Okay, so my name is Bianca. I have known Ashley for some years, a little bit of years. I am a nurse by trade, that is my profession. I've been married for five years. I have three children. You guys saw Chloe the last time we were here. Um, so this is always a hard question, tell about yourself. So in my spirit, I heard, tell them what you like to do. Hey! Okay, so some things that I like to do, I like to write. Not many people know, but I actually really enjoy I didn't know that. not because I, I don't that. I don't advertise it, but I do enjoy writing. I actually write a lot. Um, I spend a lot of time at home now, so I've recently become into working out. So working out is my new thing. It's actually very therapeutic. Mm -hmm. So those are my two bigger hobbies now is working out and writing. So fun facts about Bianca. We've all learned something new today. <laughs> I didn't know that. I just, I don't be I didn't know. people oh, ask okay. me to write. <laughs> I don't say nothing. Now you just told the world, but shh, don't y'all don't tell nobody. Right. Okay. All right. Interesting. Moving right along. You know that now that's out there, you can't take it back. Okay. All right. I'm gonna leave just that alone. <laughs> JK. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna let you have that. Okay. So um, Bianca and I were talking about being able to mind your business and stay in your lane and do what God has told you to do. And one of the things that we talked about was how sometimes you're unsure of what your business is, mm -hmm. meaning unsure of what God has said for you to do. And sometimes he has to remind you of this is what I told you to do, or this is what I put on your heart. Right. This is what I put in your, uh, in your spirit for you to do. Um, and I gave you confirmation and I mentioned it a couple times and then this random person just walked up and said, Hey, don't you do X, Y, Z? And you're like, no, and like, well, the Lord did tell me to do that. Right. You know, all of that kind of stuff. And God will remind you. So you were talking about how, um, and we've actually, oh, go ahead. You can tell, you can tell a story about how, you know, is we've been talking about sowing seeds and really we've been watching crazier faith series the crazier face series with my pastor michael todd and in watching that just trying to figure out okay lord i'm trying to go to the crazier faith like mm -hmm. i want to believe wholeheartedly if you say do it i just go do it and being in a posture of service yeah. to the lord and to you know just waiting on him in which how can i help you type of mode so go ahead so then in one of michael todd series he had um the faith like a farmer mm -hmm. and he talked about sowing seeds and one day I came to Ashley and I was like you know I have seeds I don't know where to put them like where do I sow my seeds 
so small backstory i'm in school to get my master's of nursing and education so in lieu of me learning to be an educator and being a supervisor in my current role there was a nurse who needed training it was a learning opportunity for the nurse and the patient so the patient got put out on our work chat and everyone's like hey you know someone needs to go with this nurse to teach the patient I'm like, okay, we'll keep looking, you know, hopefully someone will pick it up and go with her. Bottom line, it ain't me. I did not want to do it. <laughs> I was very, and, I, and in my head, I didn't say it verbally, but I'm like, I don't want to go mm -hmm. because I'm not required to see patients anymore. I don't have to do that. So I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm hoping somebody picks it up to go with this nurse because it wasn't supposed to be Bianca in my head. So hours go by, someone else texts me like, hey, do you think you can help her? I'm like, you know, I'm still looking for a nurse to go with her. All while I'm doing this back and forth in my head, I thought you said you wanted to sow seeds. Me? <laughs> I'm like, okay, I, I said that. Then Michael Todd had another one, it was called Bamboozled by the Blessing, but he talked about service. I'm like, okay. I can do it. I have the time. This particular day, I'm not doing anything. I can make the drive. I still hadn't said anything to the nurses though. I'm like, you know, we're still just looking this whole time. But you said you had seeds that you wanted to sow. This is your time. Also, in lieu of me being an educator, it's an opportunity for the patient, the nurse, and myself. After hours of going back and forth and really trying to figure out who God was talking to and it was obviously me, I'm like, okay, let me sow this seed and be of service like I've been reading and hearing. So finally, a little bit with an attitude, I'm like, I will go with this nurse to see this patient. The nurse ended up texting me, oh my God, thank you so much. This is such an awesome opportunity. I'm like, okay. I'm not going to lie. Like I still really, I still don't want to do it. But in my head, I'm like, I can't want to sow these seeds and move forward and potentially block my blessings all because really I have an attitude. So trying to be of service and listening to these different sermons, I'm like, okay, Bianca, do it. Also, when we talked about trust it if you say so, mm -hmm. this entire time I'm hearing, okay, you need to move, you need to say something. It took me a minute, but I mean, I did it. Because I, I feel like at this season, you can't want to grow, have crazier faith, expect things but then you're not doing what god has told you to do right right so you're not, you're not you don't want to work you just want to show up and like i just ta-da surprise i really so just wanted to check on her after she went to the <laughs> but let me ask you a question like why? girl how did it go <laughs> why didn't you want to do it i didn't want to do it because what i am having to teach this nurse to do mm -hmm. It's not that I don't know how, I have not done it in a long time. So it was really out of fear. Uh, also because I didn't, I did not have to do it. This was me being helpful. I was afraid cause I haven't done it. But also I knew I really didn't have to go. Like I could have said nothing and no one would have been like, oh, well Bianca, you were supposed to do that. So I, I was nervous. Cause even after I picked it up, I called one of the other supervisors like, you know, I'm kind of panicking. Like, I haven't done this in so long. I know how to do it, but it's been almost two years since I've taught this particular therapy. Mm -hmm. Not that I can't. I was afraid. Hey, guys. Sorry about that. Um, we had some technical difficulties. I don't know, but Bianca did have to leave. So we're gonna go ahead and continue and i just want to talk through what she stated which is the reason or the main point of today's saturdays with god if you will a lot of times we know what it is is our business and we know what it is we need to do but we are so afraid what will people think is this does this what does this mean for my life Will this require more of me? Is it going to affect how people see you and what they may think of you? Possibly, possibly. But for the people that matter, will it be negative? Usually not. For the people that matter, 
okay? Will it require more of you? Absolutely, but in the best way possible. So yes, it's going to stretch you and it's going to grow you and, but all of this boils down to all things, all things, all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. All things. So everything that God has asked you to do, everything that is your business, and the other part of it is you don't have to like it all. Obedience does not require you to like it. When your parents asked you to do something as a kid, majority of the time, you didn't like it, but you did it because you wanted to be obedient to them. How, why is it so hard to do it for God? I'm just not feeling it. I just don't feel like that's what I should do. Really? You'd be better off just saying, no, I'm not doing that. Now, I don't know about you, but I really cannot afford to tell God no anymore. It just doesn't work for me. So at the end of the day, if God is telling you to do something, if what your business is, is the seed in your hand, is the thing that he has, it's your talent, it's your gift, whatever it is he's put in your hand and he's asked you to do, and that, my friends, is your business, do not be afraid to do it. Don't worry about the W's, the how, the when, the what. I always say the W's and then there's how. How starts with, but you, anyway. Don't worry about the who, the how, the when, the what, the why. Don't worry about all those. He is the provider. You are the resource. He's the source. So whatever you need, he's going to provide. I don't have to worry about it. I can't say, Lord, I need this, 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 and this to provide, to do what you asked me to do. Please provide. Or Lord, show me what I need to make this happen. Probably that's a better perspective. Show me, Lord, what I need to make this happen. Which road do I need to take? Which avenue need, do I need to go down? Who do I need to talk to? And he will make a way because he's a way maker. But don't you be afraid to make a move because it all works to your good even if it looks like that does not look like the purpose or the plan that you told me you had for my life lord that ain't it are you sure because god is very strategic we talked about this before all things work together you see that together for the good of those who love god and are called according to his purpose. All right. Think on these things, or better yet, say la. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I love y'all. Thank you so much to my special guest, Bianca. I love you. Thank you for coming by and seeing me. Um, we got to get Chloe and Zanea together so they can have a play date. And you guys have a wonderful Saturday. Go out and enjoy the last few days of fall. Um, this is the Saturday before Thanksgiving. I actually forgot that next week was so much, so much happening. I was like, next week is Thanksgiving. Yes, yes it is. Um, so have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope you uh, get everything that you are expecting. Now, if you are expecting some negative things, be careful. Change your perspective. Believe that all things work together. Believe that you can be amongst loving people. Believe that your family can come together and have a great Thanksgiving and be loving to each other and be kind. Um, believe that things will get better. And have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And we'll see you next Saturday. Mwah! As my baby said. Oh, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this. Share this with your friends. Okay? All right? Bye!